Hello, welcome to the QFET computer pattern drafting class. My name is Queen Sikanaya Okoji. I am your number one go to computer pattern drafting tutor, and I'll be taking you on this lesson, which is the six pieces blouse how to draft a six pieces blouse using Valentina CAD. Now, six pieces blouse is a type of outfit that allows you to demarcate the bodies into six sections and then you are able to attach flares to the hem to create a more robust look. It is usually worn by mothers, wives, um, elderly, and oh, it's one of the famous outfit that never seem to go out in trend. So once you're able to make this, then Basically, you can even be able to make the eight pieces, which is the eight panel or eight pieces blouse, and even go on to make the 16 and 10 pieces blouse. <laughs> Once you're able to make this, you can make any type of panel blouse that you can think of. All right, so as you can see on my screen, I already have my blouse pattern drafted out. So I'm just going to zoom out a bit so that we can see that. So, um, for this class, you're going to need your blouse pattern and you're also going to need your sleeve pattern. Now, for the blouse pattern, I traced this out from the dress block that I drafted, which makes um, it very easy for me to adjust to basically any type of design that I need to make. So if I want to make a blouse, I can make it out from the dress uh, pattern if i want to make a skirt the same thing i want to make a gown a short gown a long gown a mid uh, level gown any type of outfit that has to do with dress blouse skirts i can make it out from this dress block and you can learn how to draft your dress block in my computer pattern drafting class so if you haven't signed up yet kindly click the link below this video to join the class immediately um, I offer two classes, that is the starter class. That class allows you to learn how to use Valentina CAD for personal use. Um, why the advanced class allows you to learn how to use it for commercial purposes. So this is where you get to learn how to commercialize your pattern and match up to Butter Week, Vogue, and etc. So, um, so remember, if you want to sign up from the class, kindly click on the link below this video to get started immediately. I will, now let's get back to the tutorial basically. So when you zoom in, you'll be able to see my blouse pattern was stressed out. So when I click the visibility here, I'll be able to focus on the blouse itself. So the first thing we want to do basically is to manipulate our darts. You can see that on my bodies I have both darts and the style of design that we are trying to imitate has a precision. And because of the applique on top of it, I couldn't really tell if the precision is from the shoulder or from the armhole. Nevertheless, I'm going to show us how to create the precision from the armhole. Um, you can join my computer pattern drafting class to see all the ways at which you can manipulate your dart. It's ridiculous. There's so many amazing things that you can learn um, how you can do using um, Valentina CAD in my class. All right, so um, since I am going to be manipulating my boss dart through the armhole, I have already taken the liberty to insert a point on the armhole, which is the midpoint of this armhole curve right here. Um, if you don't know how to do that, well, like I said, you need to join my class. So I'm going to zoom in right here and then select my line two, which allows me to connect my points to the boss point. And the next thing I want to do is to find out the actual angle of my uh, this line, which is the A50 to A73. Since I'm manipulating my dots to this side of um, the armhole, means I need to know this angle. 
so i have my a50 to a73 that's great so the next thing i'm going to do is to select the rotate object too now when i do that i'll be able to select the points that i want to rotate so basically since i'm trying to manipulate i'm going to select this sorry i'm going to select this this the curve and this point here and then i'm going to click enter and then select my a50 and basically just tap anywhere so i'm going to get rid of this formula here what i need is the angle for the length of line so i have angle of lines i'm going to select that so we are looking for a50 to a73 so i'm going to scroll down to find that there a50 to a73 so we found that so i'm going to double tap to select and click ok apply and then we have manipulated our darts to the armhole so i'm just going to use my line to, to connect this and this so basically you can see oh uh, we have it, we have succeeded in getting rid of our boss darts now there you we will notice we have like a slight issue because by the time we manipulated our dots right here to the side seam we literally created uh, a difference between the side seam at the back and the side seam at the front so we will need to adjust for that so we want to return this back right here to where it's supposed to be so i'm going to take my curve here I connect it to my A35 and there you have it so we literally have our side seam back which is from A35 to A53 now we are done with that the next thing we want to do so the next thing we want to do is um to also do the same for the back um we want to also have a pretty same running for the back so basically since we have no dart extra dart at the back here to manipulate um we're just going to take a curve and extend it here to create that pretty same that we need for the back you can see that okay beautiful so the next thing we want to do is to basically create our panels demarcate our blouse into the six pieces that we've been blabbing about so um to do that we're going to find the distance between our a6 to our eight eight thirty nine so that we'll be able to get the right point um or we can use a point of two which is from here to here and this and just hold on our shift to point down and we have gotten that so um, we've gotten the point and we have literally demarcated our front bodies i want to show us what that looks like so we have like one here and then we have two but we want a three now at this point you can also choose how you want the bodies of your blouse to be if you want to make your garment bust padded if you want to add padding to your bust you can go on to do that here all you simply have to do is click your arc to um where is that um this two and you select the arc and then the points here and hold on your shift key to direct it upwards and then it puts a point there you would fit the same for the other that's nine so that's your arc and then the point and hold on your shift key to insert the point so you can see that right here so the next thing i'm simply going to do is to create a curve so a curve from here to here and I'll just adjust it a bit 
and you can see I've been able to create that curve look. I've been able to create a curve look for my garment. So I'm going to create a curve here too. Drag this up a bit, so this down a bit. Okay, so you can see that right here. So uh, I've succeeded in making my uh, garment have like a curve around, so that I can add padding to it. By the way, if you want to see the sewing process of the six pieces blouse, you want to see how I did the drafting physically you can join the QFAT so community on WhatsApp. Membership is free. Just simply click on the link below this video and you are there in the community. You will be able to see the sewing process and etc. How I added um, padding to uh, the bust area and all of that. So all you simply have to do is click the link below this video to join the community. Um, what else? Okay, so now we have demarcated uh garment into three so we have one and two and then we need a third remember it was a six pieces blouse so now that i've extended this middle line this dark line to the hem of the blouse i'm going to do the same here i'm going to take my points to here here and um, point down here hold on my shift key so i can have that line so i've also demarcated the back into two now i want to demarcate it into three so what do we do we simply find the middle of this curve here um we find using our curve um segmenting points curve click on this and then we'll go to length of curve and we'll find the current length and then we'll divide that by two click OK like that and then we have it uh, and then we find the middle of the waist here so this is not a half line so let's give it a line wait oh sorry I'm going to go back to my point two and that will allow me to find the middle there you go so I'm just gonna Send a curve from my A79 down here to 80. Create a curve, drag this up a bit, so that it's a bit curvy. And there you have it. Okay. So we want the line to be straight down. So what we have to do is just find the middle point between A47 to A80. Okay, so let's do that. What do I have? Oh, sorry. Okay. We want to find the middle from A39 to um, A80. So that's what we want to look for. I have um, 2.15 inches, so I think I'll just use the length of line, which is 839 to 880. So I'm going to go to my, my select length of line, 839 is what we are looking for, 839 to 880, here it is, and click OK, apply, and then we have our line. Connect A80 to A81. Okay, so at the end, we have succeeded in demarcating our front into three. So we have one, two, and three. Now let's go back to the back. So we already have two here. So we'll just need to divide it into three. And then to do that, we have to find the midpoint of this arc. So first, I'm going to insert an arc there, connect from A. I think I'm going the wrong direction. Excuse me. From A31 upwards. Okay. 
and we need to find the middle select length of curve current length and then we just divide that by two okay apply and okay so we have it there so we'll find the middle of this point using our midpoint to apply and okay so there we have it so using the curve again from 882 down to 883 just create that curve seed curve let's drop it down a bit all right so now we want to find the middle here and to do that we have to find the middle between a41 and a83 so i'm going to use my line to to help me do that a41 to a 83 so using the point two point along the line we're looking for a41 a41 to a a41 to a83 there you go okay apply and okay so we can use our line to to connect the points so we have demarcated again into three parts so we have three parts for our front and three parts for our back great so the next thing we want to do is to attach our flare so now this is what i'm to make it easy and less confusing for us i'm going to make each of these demarcation line a bit dotted i think that's where we're going to do it so I'm going to select each demarcated line. Okay, let me make this a bit dotted. Should I be able to tell? So that we don't get confused. Okay, this that other one is too tiny. Let me choose this bigger one. All right, so you can see I have worked on the demarcated line. So when we start working we don't get confused another thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to be detailing each piece so that we can see how it looks before we proceed all right now let's go to the center front so this is the center front piece so i'm going to start with this now the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to measure from the waist um from the hem i beg your pardon uh if 73 i'm going to measure two inches towards our a81 so i'm going to get the 72 point it towards here and i want two inches apply and okay it's almost close to the a81 that's awesome so i'm going to take my pointer and go to the side now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line from the waist, which is A46 here, down to my A85. So we have something that looks like this. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to create a curve. Let's on this so I can see it closer. Awesome. So I want to create a curve. I'm going to use my A81 to help me with that curve. So what I'm going to do I'm going to measure from here upwards. I'm going to measure 0 0.5 0 0.5 I'm going to click apply and OK. So this is what's going to happen. I'm going to use my curve to, sorry, I'm going to use my curve to, to 
curve from here down to A, 75. And shift curves. Um, okay. Now you can see we're. Now you can see this point where my curve intersects. I'm going to use my curve and line intersect too. So I'm going to click the curve and I'm going to click the line. I'm going to point all the way. I'm going to point all the way to my A43 and I'm going to click. And you can see the point here. So now I'm going to detail the center front piece. So I'll go over to my operations to, I'm going, sorry, my detail to, and I'm going to start the tuning. Step from here, here, select, up, down. Okay, sorry, I'm going to work. I'm going to start again here, up, curve, A14. A20, A21, and zoom in, A50, and remember the curve. A71, A46, and all the way to this point here, where we have a curve this point here and enter. So we have a center front piece. Okay. So in the detail mode you will now see how it looks like. There you go. On the second touch, I think I'll just use the curve all through, like rather than use from here. The country said, let's see how that should turn out. Okay, I'll just use a curve all the way from my A7 to this guy here. I think it will look better. There we go. Mm, it's really beautiful. So I can now use my curve and point along the line. So let's touch this. I have my points there. So let's detail again. Up, curve, point, point, curve. And another point, and this point, this point, this curve, this point, and down, and flare, and hold on my shift key, and then I tap. So I have my center front piece. So let's see how it looks on the detail. Ooh, beautiful. Yeah. So you can see that right here. So let's continue. So we're going to go over to the boss point, the bust piece area of the front of the blouse. So we have created flare on this side. So like I said, I'm going to put this dot line so that we don't get confused. And you can also put it on white salmon. Right, so that we can see the other lines clearly. So now this is our piece. This, 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 and the whole first thing. This, this down here, and this. So what we want to do is want to attach flare from here to the side and flare from here to the side. So to do that, we have to start our measurement from this point here. So I'm going to take my point along the line too, over here, and I'm going to measure two inches like I did earlier, okay. And then I'm also going to measure from this point here, 
this particular point. Let me hide all of that since I don't need them anymore. Which point is it? Okay, this one hide it. So you need this to there. Then you hide it need to. So this is the only point we want to see right now. This point here. So from this point, I want to measure two inches. So point along the line towards the hip, I put another two inches. Then I click apply, and it fix. So this is where it will stop. Awesome. So using my line too, I'm going to measure from the waist down here and also from this point here. So you can see we have a flare for that piece. All right, so now we want to create a curve. And this is where the challenge is. But I think I'll just roll with the ball. Go with my along the point line. I'm going to measure 0 0.5. This one too. Now, up. Two, one. Five. Apply. And okay. So I have my two points here. So I'm going to use my curve from here to here. So there you have it. So now I'm going to create my detail just like I did with the center piece. So I'll go to my detail mode. So this is where I want to detail from A90 up to this. I'm going to zoom in. So see. And here is a cuff. Hold on my sheet. This point here. Here. Curve down this point here, curve down this point here, and my E91 here, and this curve here. I'm going to click enter, and then I'm going to go to bust, front, bust, piece. So we are succeeded in the second boss piece. So this is how it looks. Voila. Beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> so let's go over to a side piece. So this is our side base. But before I do that, like I told you, let's just make all the lines hidden so that we don't get confused. Let's keep this one hidden too. And this one hidden as well. Keep that out as well. I still need to move it out here. This one. Yeah, this one. All right, so we want to look at our side piece. Let me remove this one. So let's zoom in. Okay, so I've done that and we'll see if it affects it doesn't. Okay, so I want to look at the side piece. This piece here, here, up, this way, curve here down here down here so we want to create a flare so which means that we need to extend from the waist down here and then also extend from the waist down here okay so let's do that so we have a straight line here unfortunately we do not have a straight line here but we have the points that can guide us, so that's okay. So let's go up right here and using our point along the line, these two, gonna select our A81 
and direct it towards A7. Two inches, apply and OK. So we have this. So let me just hide this dude. Let's show. Let me hide them. Just one and a half. Okay, so this is the point that we need. So I'm going to take my line to from this point. There. Awesome. So now we need two inches towards this way. So I'm going to measure from A41 towards this point. We have two inches. Apply and OK. So using the line two again in here to my E93. So you can see our flat. So we measure along the line E92 upwards. We need 0 0.5. Apply and OK. Zero point five. Apply and OK. So using the curve two, we connect this here with this. So the curve. So. So we have our curve. So using the detail mode, I'm going to select Anna. Hold on. Let me select my E to 92. This curve point curve E to one. E fifty two, E ninety five, and there you have it. We have our side front or front side sleeve, front side piece. Okay, so we look at our detail to see this line and this one. So this is the three pieces from the front. So we are going to go back so that we can work on the back as well. And just like we did with all the pieces, we change the colors so that we can work without all these lines confusing us. Okay. Yeah. So the next one to focus on is the back. So I'm, uh, as always, I'm going to start with the center back. Um, we want to, unlike the front where we did not include any flare because we'll be attaching a zip allowance, attaching zipper at the center front, the back, we are not attaching anything to it. So we'll create a flare for that. And then this other side. So let's do that. We measure. Shoot Q. Um, remove this two. Another shoot Q. All we need is two inches. Apply and OK. So from the waist, using the line two, I'm going to connect over to this place. So we we'll do the same for the other side. Measure two inches. Okay. So using the line to from here to here. So from here upwards we measure 0 0.5 apply and ok let's measure from here 
Okay. okay, so using the curve to just like we have been doing, create a curve. Then go over to detail and detail it. So I'm basically just going to do the same thing that I did with the front to the back.
Okay. You can see I also finished from the front. Finished all the back pieces for the front and the back. So these are the pieces for the back. So we can now go on to insert seam allowances around them. I want the front door to have the zip allowance, so I'm going to include that as well. Uh, 16 before 16, so. Image craft type and look like So one thing you want to include in your pattern is notch. So this is the notch for this and this. So you want to include that. So I'll just go on and select the pass mark. Let me zoom in so I can see a little bit of it. Then the kind of mark that I want is the green mark. There in the center lines. So this particular one will have the same 0 0.5 inches seen about it and here I'm going to take my notch you can see it a little bit of the notch and here the same yeah there so we have a notch here and the same thing this side we have seam allowances too but the side we have one inch seam allowance to this side I have a35 a52 and something else so after a I take 35 I can show you one inch So this is how I'm going to put my seam allowance and then for the back let's find this a bit again. Okay, there's some points there. Okay, that's why it's not working. It's for the back piece. There's some point thirty five. Point thirty five here. Seems to be one point there. That's why so you need to put it behind. This so I think I'm just going to this doesn't look well the point is missing so I'm going to delete this and detail it again 
Let me see. Where can I do this again? To include that point. So I start over here. To the next left hand curve. So now we have the points there now, so we go on to attach. So the point is there now, so I can include my seam allowance and then I'll allow this. Attach one seam and this and after one four one four and after so you can see it's a lot better now. So this one we have the same seam allowances zero point five around it. As what well, this was so hard around it. So that is it. So that's basically all the seam allowance for this. Now for the sleeve, I'm going to go over to the sleeve pattern. So what I just want to do is to get a three quarter out of the sleeve so I'm going to measure six inches upwards let's leave it at five anyway there you go so So I've got to see my reporting sleeve, so I'm just going to detail. Include my seam allowances all around it. But I'm going to increase the seam allowance at the bottom. I'm going to put 1.5 inches at the bottom. Oh, I 
the color of that. So that concludes our six pieces blouse using computer button drafting. Remember, you can see how to sew this garment on the QFET sew community. Just send us a WhatsApp message, answer a few questions, and then you're free to join the community for absolutely free. And you can download the videos and use them as well. So I want to thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them below this video. I'll respond to them as soon as I can. And see you next time on more computer pattern drafting techniques. Bye.